Hey there, toy collector friends and, well, Transformers, Doctor Who fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I am the Time Travelling Toy Collector and this is a very, very quick update on day one at Wales Comic Con and a bit of a message. Um, so today I didn't have an awful lot of time to purchase uh, and to go around too many of the stalls. Uh, I went through around a few, but this is just to say the beauty of going to conventions. Some people feel they're a bit overfacing and don't want to go because they're packed, and some of them are. Um, but today's Wales Comic Con, fantastic convention. I'm looking forward to being there again tomorrow. Picked up some things really keen to get hold of. Number one, uh, Seventh Doctor figure in the cream jacket. Doesn't have the umbrella, doesn't matter. I'm going to use it for toy photography, so uh, that was a real win for me. Um, Non-carded uh, was a straight tenor. I'm very happy. The exact same stall that I got this one from, uh, I also got, so I'll pop them over here, uh, which I'm particularly pleased with, the Cyber King figure uh, from the uh, Doctor Who figurines collection range. Um, and you know, those of you who know, know that I do... Uh, to collect these uh, Cybermen related figures. This one uh, has been out of stock on the Hero Collector stand for quite a while on their online store, uh, rather, and uh, I was delighted to see it there. I was more delighted to see that the resale price was 10 quid, so 10 pounds. So uh, I was, I, I did wander off and think, shall I, shan't I? Um, and then I thought, you're a fool, go and get it, because if somebody else gets it first, uh, and you go back and it's gone, you're going to be really cross. So I'll do a quick close-up for you there, but that's all you're going to get, because I'll do a separate video as part of the evolution of the Cybermen uh, range of videos. But yeah, I've had this one on uh, notify me regarding pre-order for ages, um, and they never have, because it's never come back into stock. So I'm super excited that uh, I was able to pick this up for a tenner, significantly cheaper than on the site. Now, obviously I'm a big fan of Hero Collector products and I will always support them, but if they don't have them in stock and an alternative retailer is selling them um, at a reduced resale value, so be it. I've also picked up some of their um, ships uh, as well in the past at conventions where they've been, uh, particularly some of the ones that I've, I've come to late in, in their existence and have been hard to get hold of where they're then selling them um, as the retailer they've been they've been knocked down as well in price and I've picked those up so uh, it's not like it's like anti-scalping really <laughs> um, and the last one I wasn't going to pick up um, this guy so this is premium sorry this is bulkhead from uh, the Transformers Legacy he's a Voyager class range um so this is their brand new legacy range packaging with zero plastic in in the window um so doing very quick very quick uh now there are a few um and i may pick up who knows what i might pick up tomorrow um but there are a few um stalls that had transformers legacy bulkhead now i've seen a couple of videos of bulkhead and i've gone from thinking i don't think i really want it to thinking this could be a really nice addition to the collection um so here he is in my hand one of the reasons he's in my hand is because i asked how much he was at a couple of the different uh stalls and in some stalls he was going for 25 quid and i thought okay in the other stores, he was going for 20 quid. Um, I thought, oh, okay. And then I found him for even cheaper than 20 quid. And at that point, I thought, you know what? Let's go, let's go for that. Um, so it, good advice is always, A, have a rummage in the little bins, and you'll see on my Instagram page, I've posted some pictures of the bins. You never know what you're gonna find. Um, and the quality is really good, usually. Do have a nice shop around, particularly if you're looking for some pieces that may be out of stock from the original retailer, because there may be people who've got a supply. Now they're finding it hard to shift for whatever reason, um, and they'll charge really decent prices, and everything's intact. And the beauty of something like this is you can see that it's intact, so no issues there. And thirdly, shop around. 
check how much people are, check, uh, are paying for stuff. And if you go on the second day, which I'm doing tomorrow, and people have got stuff left over, they don't want to take it home. So bear in mind, they will be looking for uh, some quick sales. So if they've got some stuff that you might be interested in, and it's still on the shelves or it's still on their stores towards the end of the convention day, on the last day of the convention, you may be in a position to say to them, I see you've got a X, um, what's your best price? And they'll say something, and then you can say, mm -hmm. yeah, I was hoping I could round it down to a, a price below. They may go for it. They may offer you a counter best price, or their best price may be <laughs> something you're really keen to just pay to get it. Um, particularly if you're not a haggler but that's a little bit of advice from me um, so, but yeah if you're around at uh, Wales Comic Con tomorrow in Telford do have a rummage um, you may spot me there going through some uh, of the toy bat the toy figure bins um, I have got more time tomorrow to spend looking at their uh, various shelves but this was just a quick video from me to say I, I view these as some some early successes I, I, I've earmarked some other places to go back to tomorrow, and I shall. Um, and so I may have a bit more of a haul to talk about tomorrow. But otherwise, really enjoyed today. Great convention, great atmosphere. Some queuing issues, but there always is. And you know what? If you're cramming in several thousand people into a convention centre, there's going to be queues. It's, it's the nature of the beast, I'm afraid. Um, so, this is it for now more probably tomorrow or tomorrow ish um thank you very much for staying with me for the last seven or eight minutes um you've been a fantastic audience as ever i've been the time traveling toy collector this has been a little bit of a, a haul update from today and a little bit of shopping advice um and i look forward to seeing you in the next video in the meantime if you thought this was interesting click on the like button and by all means don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything that follows on from this. Take care, bye for now, and try not to get exterminated. Remember, a thing of beauty is a toy forever. Bye for now.